viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Well, another market has opened up to Jamaican footballers and that is in Europe. Why? Well, the Scottish Football Association has relaxed their laws where teams, where players from countries that are from countries that are ranked in the top 70 in the world can apply their trade in Scotland without a work permit. Now, this is the Scottish Premiership, Scottish Championship, Scottish League One and League Two. So there's lots of job opportunities out there for Jamaican internationals. Why are we eligible for this market? Because over the past two years, Jamaica has averaged a FIFA ranking of 63. So by being 63, we're in the top 70, which means that we'll have to that we will avoid the work permit issues. Isn't that exciting? Scottish Premier League. I know it's not the most creme la la creme league in the world, but at the same time, it's an opportunity that Jamaican footballers should grab at. It's a chance for them to play their trade in Scotland, and after three seasons, the door will open for them to play in the Championship or even the English Premier League if they have that cutting edge about them. It's an opportunity that we should grab with two hands. Why? We're talking about Europa League football on the horizon, Champions League football, getting accustomed to European football, the English game, the British game, hard, tough, grueling, grafting games. This is what you dream about as a professional footballer. <laughs> well, not the grafting part, but playing in professional football in Europe is something that all footballers dream about. So for Jamaican footballers, I see this as a grand opportunity for them to stamp the authority and make a truly wonderful impact for themselves. Reggae Boys fans, what are your thoughts? Do you think Jamaican footballers should look at this market? Do you think that we should continue along this USL, MLS market? Or should we explore Eastern Europe like Shamar Nicholson has done? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary.